Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for the Division. This is going to be the weekly reset video for all the open world vendors for February 24th, 2017. Let's get in it. Now, I don't know if you guys heard, but yesterday they, yesterday they finally announced the release date for The Last Stand, which is going to be this Tuesday, February 28th. So that is going to be the... So this week is going to be the last time you can actually buy these named weapons before the last stand comes out so my immediate suggestion to all of you is go around pick up as many as you can do the named bosses all the named bosses locations are in another video of mine do all those get the most chances and opportunities you can for all the named weapons and all the named gear that you can pick up this week there's actually a lot of good things to buy a lot of little things that you might not think of. I also did another video on how armor isn't going away completely. So you got to keep an eye on your base armor because that's the armor that's sticking around. And there's a lot of items for sale this week that have decent base armor. So you might want to check those out. There are a few notable things to pick up. Um... Definitely the named weapons. Actually, the Cassidy this week, which you'll see in just a few seconds here. Cassidy this week is really good. But yeah, keep in mind, since the Last Stand patch 1.6 is coming out, now's the time to stock up on all the things you might need for 1.6. Me personally, I'm looking for Firecrest, even though it's been dubbed not and been dubbed nerfed because of all the boosts you can do to resistance. I still think it's pretty good. Alright, here's the Cassidy. 348%. 348% stagger. Definitely worth a pickup. Also, I want to look into submachine guns now that they're bringing critical hit chance back. There are a few M700 carbuns for sale this week. This one here at the Events Weapons Vendor is not the best one, so I would say don't pick that one up if you're going to buy one. Maybe you could buy So we're the Weapons Vendor. Now again, I say this in all my videos, but remember that the damage output for these weapons is based directly on your firearms. So the higher the firearms you have, the more damage output you'll have for these weapons. So these numbers that you're seeing for the weapons that are showing here are going to be different hey, maybe I'll see you if again. your firearms are different than mine. So if you're rocking something besides 2793 firearms, you can expect your damage numbers to be different as well. Uh, nothing here. Ballistic shield damage isn't bad, 7%. So we're to Cap Hudson. Pretty. Yeah, Covert SRS could be a little bit better. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, pitch that damage is a little low. I would say pass on that one. Now this SR7 suppressor has got pretty good critical damage. I want to pick that up. If you're looking for crit damage. Uh, pretty okay Gunslinger's Holster, all over 1200. You might want to pick that up. Turret damage mod for max turret damage from a mod is 4%. Again, that was Camp Hudson. Over at Kerman Station. Tactical Super 90 SBS. It is lacking a little bit in the stagger, but otherwise it's pretty good. Times 15 scope if you're looking for that for optimum range. Pretty okay vest for armor. A little light on the electronics though. Say pass on that one. 5% pulse duration is pretty good. Pulse duration does come in handy if you are running pulse. This paratrooper SVD is not bad, but it's a little light on the headshot damage. 142. A lot of times people use the paratrooper SVD for more of a battle rifle situation where you can fire faster, have a 
the body shots aim a little bit less. So maybe headshot damage isn't as important to you. Me personally, I only aim for heads when I'm using a marksman's rifle, regardless of how fast it shoots. Move the cavern. And you can pass on those knee pads. Go to the meat locker. Tactical SA-58 if you're looking for a good burst fire weapon. A light on the enemy, enemy armor damage, but otherwise pretty good. Seventeen twenty tackle vest, and I would say just don't even worry about this. The armor for it, base armor for it, is too low, and like I said before, that's the armor that's going to be sticking around one point six. Don't worry, it happens. So throughout all this week, you should be looking at base stats for all of your armor pieces because those are the numbers that are going to be. Those are the only armor numbers you're going to be seeing during one point six. Pretty crappy M seven hundred. So yeah, if you're picking up armor, try and get as high as base armor as you're picking up, sorry, if you're picking up pieces of gear, make sure you have the highest base stat armor you can get on it. So that way you're getting the most out of your armor build. Post 1.6. And gloves are a little weak. Pretty good electronics and health mod here at the ward. Tell us about So this mask has 1270 one stamina and it had 991 armor which is pretty good almost max on both so i would say pick that up if you're looking for a good mask good stamina mask over at southpaw crying house another m another m700 now this one out of all the ones that are for sale this week i would say this is the better of all of them so you're looking for a good marksman rifle it's got high damage and high headshot damage So sniper rifle, grindhouse, just remember that. I won. You're gonna like when you the firewall. Backpack's got okay armor. A little light on everything else, I would say no go on that. Pretty good stamina mod, you might want to pick that up. Stamina mod at the firewall, now let's see what the crypt's got. Pretty okay lightweight M4. I would say pick it up no matter what, even if you have one that's better, just to have a spare. Capable, determined, and ferocious, not too bad. And okay scope. That's it guys, I'll be doing another video for the Dark Zone right after this one. And remember, February 28th is coming Tuesday, 1.6 Last Dance coming out. And don't forget to pick up as much as you can named weapons this week, okay? Until then, go ahead, game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!